Folks, my name's Pete Huntlinger and I'm the odd man out here tonight because I'm not a songwriter. I'm not even a singer, but uh, what I do do is I play the guitar and uh, Todd, uh, Todd is nice enough to ask that I come out here and play a little bit for you all. I gotta tell you a quick little story about this, this time I was out in El Paso, Texas a couple of years ago. I was playing for a crowd of guitar players, and I just played a bunch of Stevie Wonder tunes. And there's a guy sitting in the front row, he says, hey man, play Superstition. I said, no. He said, why not? I said, you can't play Superstition on solo guitar, it's too hard. He said, what do you mean? I said, if it's all the same to you, I'll tell you later after I finish the show. He said, no, I want to know now. Well, in the old days, I had to share hecklers with the bands, and this particular night, I had him all to myself. So I said, well, I'm going to have some fun with this guy. I said, you know, a tune like Superstition is really tough because there's too many parts. He says, what do you mean? I said, well, it starts with that cool clavinet line that went... I said, I'd be happy to do that for the next three and a half minutes. But the problem starts when you have to add the melody, which goes... I said, you can't do those two things at the same time. You get that low bass part and that high melody. I said, if somebody was going to try to do this tune, there's a famous horn part, which I'm sure everyone here knows, that went... I said, now if I can't do the three parts, I certainly can't do, or excuse me, if I can't do the two, then I certainly can't do all three. Ergo, you can't do that tune on solo guitar. He says, okay, I understand. We'll go ahead and finish your show. So I thanked him, and I did. Later that night, I was packing up my gear. It's kind of down on my hands and knees, winding up cables and throwing CDs that hadn't sold in a box. And my manager's standing over me, smoking one of those great big manager cigars. I know you all know what I'm talking about here because everyone here has got a manager. We're looking for one, I know it. My manager's standing over there smoking this big, fat cigar. And she looks at me and says, So kid, you're gonna do this tune or I gotta get another guitar player? So here's a little bit of superstition for y'all. Mm -hmm. 